At the moment, we run five courses at the Leopard Training Center. One of the courses is for the tank crews, so for the gunner, loader and the commander. The second course is for the tank drivers for Leopard, for the Leopard 2A4, 2A5 and 2PL. Above that, we also run specialistic courses for the mechanics for the armor, the chases and the additional equipment that goes with the Leopard tanks. I think it is relatively easy to move from the post-Soviet equipment to the latest generation equipment. It is not such a big difference. It is only a matter of training the drivers, the gunners. The rules of firing stay the same on this tank as on the others. When we talk about training someone who used to work with the post-Soviet tanks, to work with the tanks like Leopards or Abrams, 10 weeks of training is sufficient. If we intensify the training at the expense of instructors, time and at the expense of our weekends, we are able to train the crew that comes from the post-Soviet equipment in 5 weeks so that they can work on the new generation equipment. Having a simulator allows us to prepare the participant of the course to the function he will be responsible for in real equipment that he will be driving. The simulator also gives us a higher level of health and safety during the training before we let the soldier get on board the tank that weighs 60 tons. The difference is that the Leopard tank is a tank of the third generation. Its mobility in diversified terrain is increased compared to the tanks of Russian type. I can compare it to the situation when you can either have a Fiat 126P or a used Mercedes. It is easier and more convenient to drive a used Mercedes than a new Fiat 126P.